hello. Hello, my story time friends. I'm so glad to have you here today. Thank you for joining me. My name is Miss Wendy and I'm with the Rockbridge Regional Library and this is Storytime Live. So we are going to read some books, we are going to sing some songs, and we're also going to learn some cool facts, which I love knowing facts. Facts are very good. So let's get started. First of all, we do our hello song. So I would love to say hello to you if you're watching. So if you're watching live, put your name in the comments and I will say hello. Okay, so here's how it goes. <clears throat> we will salute for our hello. And this is all American Sign Language. And then friends, we've got our two friends here and they hug. Because that's what friends do. And then it's time to say hello. Okay, we'll do it twice. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Wonderful. I'm so glad you could be here. It's a beautiful day out there and let's get to some books. But first, I don't know if you've picked up on this, but today we're reading books about penguins. Look at these penguins. Oh my goodness. Let me show you a few real penguin pictures. Now look at that. We've, oh my goodness. Is a baby penguin the cutest thing you've ever seen? It just might be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, here's one of my favorites. These guys are called rockhopper penguins. Look at their awesome feathers. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Those are the rockhoppers. And then, oh yes, these are the king penguins. Look at how beautiful they are. They're just so amazing. And let's see. Oh yes, chin strap penguin. Do you notice the little line under his chin? That's where he or she gets their name. So that is the chin strap penguin. And these, of course, we know these. These are the emperor penguins. Now these penguins can be very big, surprisingly. And then of course, I can't not show you some babies. Look at those babies. Soft, little, adorable. And then, oh my goodness, there's the babies. Those are emperor penguins and their baby. How sweet. So I thought actually yesterday was the National Learn About Penguins Day. And so we're gonna actually learn about them today. So before we get ready, are you ready for a story? I am. Let me back my camera up here and we will do our song. Okay. So if you're ready for a story, I want you to clap your hands. Let me just adjust this. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. All right, let's move around a little bit. Let's jog in place. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, jog in place. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, jog in place. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, jog in place. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere. Okay, what can we do next? Let's hula hoop. All right, that means do this. Okay, if you're ready for a story, hula hoop. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, hula hoop. If you're ready for a 
a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, hula hoop. Woo! This is the best hula hooping I'll ever be able to do. <laughs> okay. And then finally, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Can you freeze? If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to sit real still. Well, something to help us get ready for reading. Let's do our five deep breaths. Okay, so we'll put our thumb and our first finger together. You can rest them on your knees if you want to relax. Take a deep breath in and out. Middle finger and thumb. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Ring finger and thumb. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Pinky and thumb. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And thumbs up because you're feeling good and you love penguins and you'd like to read some books. Breathe in. Breathe out. Excellent. That always helps me feel ready to read and ready to listen and ready to use my eyes. So let's get to our first book about a penguins. Yeah. Penguins Big Adventure by Selena Yoon. Okay, this is a lovely little series. We've got a lot of these books at the library. So you should check them out. There's a bunch of this sweet little penguin. And yeah, so there's several books to check out. So this is called Penguin's Big Adventure by Selena Yoon. And it comes to us from Bloomsbury Publishers. Ooh, there's a map. Now let's see. Now, if you recall, when we were learning about polar bears, we learned that they live up here in the Arctic all the way at the North Pole. Well, penguins, they live all the way down here in Antarctica, and they don't ever go to the other place. So, hmm. One day, Penguin had a big idea. He wanted to do something no penguin had ever done. He wanted to be the first penguin to ever set foot on the North Pole. So he wants to go up to the Arctic. Hmm, 12,436 miles away! Penguin planned and packed. He rolled up his adventure map and set off. But before the, his first mile, Penguin saw Emily sewing. This looks like a very nice quilt, said Penguin, and the brightest I've ever seen. Before, penguins reached, before Penguin reached his second mile, he saw his little brother Pumpkin weaving. Look at him weaving. That's a fine basket, Pumpkin, said Penguin, and the biggest I've ever seen. Wow, good job, Pumpkin. Right before his third mile, he saw Bootsy braiding the longest rope he had ever seen. Can I help? I don't know. I want to tie you up, Penguin. I don't want to tie you up, Penguin. You have so far to go. Then Penguin sought off, set off for the other side of the world, while his busy friends worked on their own world records. Penguin passed through his favorite places and visited with old friends. Pinecone! So I think pinecone is that tree. And he's saying hello to his favorite tree. And then he, Cowabunga! Says the little, uh, well, I guess that's a, maybe a lobster, crab. <laughs> he's got mittens on, though, I can tell you that. He had a whale of a time. Our friend, the knitting penguin. Look, they've got little cozies knitted for them, too. Whee! He's taking a ride on a big whale who is wearing an adorable sweater. Finally, Penguin reached the North Pole. 
I'm on top of the world! Penguin threw confetti, turned cartwheels. Penguin was here! He planted a sign. Hooray! 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 Penguin shouted hooray, and it echoed across the ice. Hooray! 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 But nobody answered. Penguin was suddenly lonely and afraid. Oh, but he was not alone. There's the polar bear. Penguin had never seen a polar bear. And polar bear had never seen a penguin. It was scary. They have different ideas about what the other is going to do. Penguin and polar bear smiled. It wasn't so scary anymore. Do you wear a black belt? No, I wear an orange scarf. Do you have big, sharp teeth? No, but one might be coming in. <laughs> Together, they went on a North Pole adventure. There they are riding on top of the whale. They went whale watching. They built ice forts. They explored the Arctic Sea. And welcomed more visitors. We missed you. Look, there's Pumpkin's basket. There's the rope and there's the beautiful quilt. Then it was time for the new friends to say goodbye. Penguin left Polar Bear his adventure map. He didn't need it anymore. So he'd gone on, so he left his map behind. Because the best part of having an adventure... Uh-oh, there's birds. I didn't know penguins could fly. <clears throat> ...is coming home. Here they come. And look who's waiting. All their penguin friends. Welcome home. They made it. What a great adventure. World record. First penguin to set foot on the North Pole. Penguin. Certified by Grandpa, witnessed by Polar Bear. And another world record, first Polar Bear to meet a penguin. Polar Bear, certified by Grandpa, witnessed by Penguin. So they both set new world records. Very good, wow, that's a long journey. Well, I hope you liked that book. Penguin, oh, here are some of the other ones. A lot of fun little stories about Penguin. So. Speaking of penguins and polar bears, we have our two story time polar bears and penguins. And this time, Penguin thought it would be fun to teach polar bear some fun facts about penguins. So I have invited back Pete the penguin and Steve the polar bear. Hi, yes, yes, you might have seen me dancing at the beginning of the show. It's because I love music and I just can't help myself, okay? I love it. And I'm really excited here because Steve, the polar bear, has returned. Oh, hey, yes. Hi, everybody at story time. I am so excited to be back. Hi, Miss Wendy. Hi, Steve. I'm glad you're here too. Well, my name is Pete the Penguin, and I have some cool facts to share with our storytime friends. Awesome! I love cool facts. Okay, here's the first one. Emperor penguins, that's me. Well, we can live to be four feet tall. Wow! That's really tall! I know, and a lot of our storytime friends, they're probably about... Oh, I don't know, three, four feet tall. I can be as tall as them. What? That's awesome. And I can weigh up to over 50 pounds. That's heavier than a lot of our story time friends. Whoa, you are big. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Are you ready for another fact? This one's going to blow your mind. Oh, really? Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'll hold on to my head just in case. Okay, see these things? See these things right here? Hello. What do you think those are? Well, uh, you're a bird. I think, 
Let's see. I think those are your wings. Close. Except they're not wings. They're flippers. They're my flippers. I fly in the sea. I can't fly in the air, but I can fly in the sea with these. Yay! Wow! I just assumed they were wings. They're not. They're flippers. I love my flippers. I love them. Okay. I have one more. Did you know why I have black on the back and white on the front? Hmm. You like to get dressed up in fancy clothing and, uh, I don't know. No, it's camouflage. That means it helps me hide from my predators. <gasps> predators? Yes, predators. Those are the animals that want to get me. So on my tummy, when I'm flying through the ocean and a predator's under here and looks up, guess what he sees? What? Your belly button? No, nothing, because it, I blend with the white sky. And for the predators up high, up here flying, they see black, which means they don't see me at all. I'm camouflaged. Whoa, I'm camouflaged too in my environment with my fur. Look at that. We're both camouflaged. Awesome. Okay, well, what do you think? Should we go read some more books? Yeah. Let's do it. I want to find out all I can about penguins. All right. Okay, Miss Wendy. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed learning some cool facts with Pete and Steve. You know, they're learning a lot about each other because they come from totally different parts of the world. But now they know more about each other and they've become friends, which is so cool. Okay. Let's get on to our next book. This is called Up and Down by Oliver Jeffers. You may have read some books by this author before. Oh, look. A penguin with a balloon. This comes to us from Philomel Books, an imprint of Penguin Group. <laughs> All right, there, it looks like they're going inside some gates. It says this way. Once there were two friends. One, two. Who always did everything together. Talking. Music. Backgammon. Good choice. Until the day Penguin decided there was something important he wanted to do all by himself. Fly! Goodness, can penguins fly? Wait, Pete just told us that they're not wings, but they're flippers. He did his, he did own wings after all, although they didn't seem to work very well. But that didn't stop Penguin from trying. Uh-oh, he's up, he, he took a ladder to the top of the dresser, put a chair, don't ever do this, and then jumped off into a pillow. Yeah, don't ever do that. Nothing worked, and it wasn't before long, long before he began to run out of ideas. He tried putting a balloon around, a bigger balloon. That didn't work. The boy even offered him a ride in his plane, but it wasn't the same. The penguin wanted to do this by himself. After doing a bit of homework, it seemed like the odds were against him. And together they decided it was time to ask for help. They're going to the zoo. Elephants that way, birds this way. Ever dream of flying? Are you short and fat? <laughs> the traveling show is looking for a new living cannonball. Before they could ask, something caught Penguin's eye and he know, knew this was his chance. Oop. In his excitement, he rushed off without a word. There he goes, waddle, waddle, waddle. And the boy didn't know where he had gone. 
He looked everywhere and even thought he'd found him for a second. Oh. But none of these penguins knew how to play his favorite game. Back it. Meanwhile, the penguin had found the right place and was hired on the spot. Finally, he'd get to fly. Suddenly, he realized he didn't know where the boy was or how to get home. Uh-oh. Later that night, when Penguin should have been excited, he couldn't help but miss his friend. He's thinking of him now. Likewise, the boy could barely sleep for worrying about his friend. The next day, the boy tried to think of all the places that Peng Penguin might go when something caught his eye. He didn't have much time. All new, living cannibal, tonight! The penguin's moment had come, but suddenly he wasn't sure about flying anymore. He wished the boy were there. And his friend even noticed. Had his friend even noticed he was missing? But it was too late for thoughts like that. Bam! Psh! There he goes. He took off like a bullet. And then there's, okay, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, he's getting a ticket. Oh, he's getting a ticket. Please, take it, please. The boy rushed in, hoping he could still catch his friend. <gasps> there he goes. He's in the ring. The penguin couldn't believe how high or fast he was going, and he had no idea how he was going to land. He was terrified and missed the boy more than ever. But look, there he is. Running in. Oh, he's got a pillow. Oh, he's got a net. Oh, what's going to work? He's got a trampoline. Okay, he's got his arms. There he comes. And oh, there's his friend ready to catch him. <gasps> Yay! The boy was there to catch him. The friends agreed that there was a reason why his wings didn't work very well. Because penguins don't like flying. It's true. The two friends made a break for home on stilts and a little buggy. Here they go, headed off into the sunset, sunset to play their favorite game. Well, you know, he the penguin had to figure this out. You know, we all have to figure it out. So he tried, and now he knows that flying is just not his thing. Yeah, I think you should stick to swimming, little penguin. Right? Okay, friends. Well... I have a really sweet little penguin song for you, but before we do that, oops, I wanted to teach you how to sign penguin. So the sign language for penguin is really cute. All you have to do is put your arms down, stick your hands out, and waddle, just like that. So if I wanted to say penguin to you in sign language, I would go, wouldn't you know that's a penguin? I think I would guess that's a penguin. So that's a fun one to share with your friends and family. You can show them how to say penguin in sign language. Now here is a song. It's called Five Perky Penguins. And here are our five penguins. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I think you'll be able to catch on to this song pretty quickly. So if you listen along and then join in, here's how it goes. Five perky penguins stood on the shore. One went for a swim. Then there were one, two, three, four. That's right. Four perky penguins looked out to sea. One went swimming. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three perky penguins said, what can we do? One, one jumped in the water. Then there were 
two. One, two. Excellent. Two perky penguins sat in the sun. One swam off. And then there was one. There he is. One perky penguin said, this is no fun. He dived in and then there were none. All the penguins are gone. That's really sweet. <laughs> Five perky penguins. Let's put them all back. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. Five perky penguins. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, I hope you enjoyed that song. I did. Now look, this is another wonderful little book about penguins. Look at all that, look at all these penguins. Can you tell what is a penguin and what's the penguin belly? It's pretty cool. This is called Penguin Problems and it's by Jory John and Lane Smith. All right, let's see what happens in this. Oh, look how cute. This comes to us from Random House. There they are. Penguin problems. Ah, there he is. Just a penguin. It's way too early. My beak is cold. What's with all the squawking, you guys? I don't really know what a penguin sounds like. That sounded a bit like a duck. <laughs> It snowed some more last night. I don't even like the snow. I think Penguin's grumpy. It's too bright out here. It's exciting. I'm hungry. I'd like a fish. Where are all the fish? Hey, fish, get out here. The ocean smells too salty today. I'm not buoyant enough. I like, I sink like a rock. Buoyant means to float. It's way too dark in here. Brr. Oh, gosh. Oh, great, an orca. Oh, great, a leopard seal. Oh, great, a shark. What's with this place? I don't like being hunted. <laughs> oh, get on out of there. I'm still hungry, but my flippers ache. I waddle too much. I look silly when I waddle. Boop, beep, boop. See? <laughs> I wish I could fly, but I can't. See? Everybody looks the same as me. I look the same as everybody else. Mom? I literally have no idea who you are. Dad? I literally have no idea what you're talking about. My name is Mortimer. <laughs> yeah, that would be tough. I have so many problems. But look, maybe somebody's here to help. And nobody even cares. Excuse me, sir. What? Good afternoon. I sense that today has been difficult. But lo, look around you, penguin. Have you noticed the way the mountains are reflecting the ocean like a painting? Have you gazed upon the blue of that cloudless winter sky, my friend? Have you felt the sun as it gently warms your back? Have you simply stood with your penguin brothers and sisters and elders who adore you? Yes, some things are challenging out here. Yes, we all have difficult moments from the walruses to the polar bears, from the whales to the penguins. But hear me now, my friend. I wouldn't trade my life for any other, 
and I am quite sure you wouldn't either. I'm certain that when you think about it, you'll realize you are exactly where you need to be. Please think about what I've said, Penguin. Goodbye for now. Wow, that was a wise way. Who is that guy? <laughs> Why do strangers always talk to me? Walruses don't understand penguin problems. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe that walrus has a point. After all, I do love the mountains. And the ocean. And the sky. And I have friends and family. This is my only home, and it's my only life. Maybe things will work out after all. Oh, maybe he's turning it around. He's changing his attitude. My beak is cold. It gets dark too early. Well, I guess some habits are hard to change. Isn't that right, poor little penguin? It's tough being you. <laughs> well, it is tough, but I think the walrus had a very good point. We have to appreciate what is around us. And what we have every day, the little things. So, all right, my friends. I am so glad that you joined me for story time. I will be back again next Wednesday and Thursday at 1030 a.m. for more stories and fun and songs. And I, I hope to see you there. But until then, we have to remember out in the world, we must, must wash our hands. So let's do our hand washing song as we close. Tops and bottoms, okay? We'll do it twice. Here's how it goes. One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between in between rub them all together rub them all together now they're clean squeaky clean and now you can go eat food <laughs> okay well as i said before until next week i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful weekend and i shall see you later alligator in a while crocodile Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See ya soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. See you later, friends. I'm back.